Welcome along guys. Well, very excited today. I have got something which will absolutely finish off the GSX-R and put it up another level in performance. And that is these beauties. Dimag carbon fiber CA5 wheels. Now, these are the same sort of wheels I had on the Super Duke. And when I sold the Super Duke, I returned the Dimags to Dimag. And they very kindly offered to send me some new Dimag wheels for the GSX-R. So the plan will be in this episode, fit these wheels, weigh everything. I've got new tyres to go on as well, obviously. Um, but we fit these, we'll see how much weight we've saved. And of course, later on, we'll do a road test and we'll see exactly how it affects the way the bike rides. Because fitting carbon fiber wheels is not just about the static weight loss. It's about how much difference it makes the bike feel when these are spinning and you're reducing that gyroscopic effect and how much that improves the bike's handling, the bike's acceleration, the bike's stopping. So we're going to fit these now and then we're going to go out and test them. Stay tuned. And I've, I've broken my ribs off-roading. Oh dear. Busted your ribs, chopsy. When I had the Super Duke Dimags, I never weighed them before fitting the tyres, so I don't want to make that mistake again. So I'm just going to weigh these prior to tyre fitting. So get ready, zeroed. Pop it on. 2.6 kilos. 2.6 kilos for the front wheel. That is unbelievable. Let's try the rear. Rear wheel with sprocket carrier and everything. It weighs nothing. 4.7 kilos. 4.7 kilos with sprocket, spacers, everything. Unbelievable. So there they are. They're absolutely gorgeous, these Diamags. I've gone for the CNC coloured hubs. Normally these come with a black hub. These are the gold. Looks a bit orangey, but it's actually gold. Gold hubs, gold rear, sprocket included. Oh, and some nice sprocket nuts. That's handy. I needed some of those. But these are absolutely beautiful. Beautifully made. So light. What I love about the Diamags is, is the rim width. It's so thick here. The, a lot of the carbon wheels, when the tyres go on and off, it actually starts to chip some of this material away. But the Dimags have a really thick lip. And that just protects them from when tyres are being fitted. So they last, basically, and don't end up getting chipped and damaged. Oh, they're so nice. So I've got a set of Bridgestone S21s to go on these. So let's take these down to my buddy Russ at Russ's Tyres and get the tyres on. So there they are, all fitted, tyres on, Bridgestone S21s on, looking lovely. So what I'm going to do, next thing, take the wheels off of the baby, weigh the standard wheels, take the discs and everything off, weigh them like for like. So now they've both got tyres on, and we'll see how much weight saving there is. Obviously the tyres may weigh different weights, but as a rough idea, we know what the tyres weigh without, we know what the wheels weigh without the tyres. We can just compare it to the standard wheels with tyres and see how much sort of static weight has been saved. Brake pads getting low. Now I've heard a rumour the standard GSXR wheels are actually quite lightweight. So let's see how it compares to the Dynax. Standard wheel, 8.3 kilos with tyre. 
7.1. So it's, it's, yeah, it's quite light, the standard wheel, isn't it? But it's still 1.2 kilos lighter than the standard wheel. I'd heard that the standard wheels on the GSX are quite light, but you can see, look at it, you can see how thin the spokes are, how drilled out it is internally as well. So that is actually a pretty lightweight wheel as far as standard wheels go. So let's have a look at the rear. That's the rear die mag. The rear standard is still on the bike. Let me get it out and let's weigh the standard wheel. So this is the standard rear wheel with the sprocket on, all the sprocket carrier, everything the same as the die mag. Disc removed. This one weighs 13.2 13 kilos. Die mag wheel with the sprocket carrier spaces. That weighs, drum roll please, 11.8, 11.9, 11.9. That's a weight saving of uh, 1.8 kilos weight saving. Doesn't sound huge, but you really will notice that on the road once things are spinning. It just goes to show, let me have a look what the standard Super Duke wheels weighed. I've just done a bit of a comparison with the Super Duke. So with the Super Duke, obviously the Super Duke was a single-sided swinging arm. So the rear wheel had no disc, no bearings in it. You know, it was just like a bolt-on thing. All, all of the hub was attached to the swinging arm. So it's a little bit different. But the Super Duke rear wheel actually weighed, weighed 13.3 kilos, the standard one. The Dimag one weighed 9.6 kilos. So there's a massive saving on the rear, rear wheel weight with the Super Duke. With the GSX-R, the standard wheel weighed 13.7 and the Dimag one weighed 11.9, so we've got a 1.8 kilo saving, whereas we had a 3.7 kilo saving on the uh, Super Duke. I think the Super Duke rear wheel must have been very, very heavy because it's the same weight as the GSX-R rear wheel with all the disc, all the bearings, you know, all, all the collar between the wheels. So the, on the on Suzuki, I've really done a fantastic job of making the standard wheels as light as possible on this bike. So it'd be interesting to see. So we haven't got as big a weight saving with fitting these with the GSX-R as we did with the uh, Super Duke, but I bet you we can still see some huge benefits on the road. So it'd be interesting to see what it's like on the road test. So anyway, that's enough guffage with scales. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these bad boys fitted at long last. I've just noticed I weighed it with the disc bolts on the Dimag, so the other the other wheels didn't have any bolts on the disc bolts, so <laughs> a tiny extra bit of weight on these which are going to be swapped out. So I'm going to be putting in the titanium disc bolts. Never mind these stainless steel nonsense. Right, let's get the discs back on and then slap her back in. Simple as that. Just making sure this is the disc, the disc go back on the right side, the right orientation. Titanium disc bolts back in. Remember the old sprocket which we took off in the last episode of the build series, that dirty old sprocket. I said I was going to give it to Spicy 110. Well here is the finished product. Spicy has worked his magic. I'll link to Spicy's metal works in the, in the description. So if you want to get something made into a clock, he's now doing commissions. Link in description, go check him out. But uh, that is beautiful. As well as the beautiful Dimag wheels, I actually have this to install as well today. This is from... Luigi Moto in the States and it is a custom seat cover 
to go on the bike. Look at that, custom seat cover, absolutely beautiful. This is their track-based seat cover, so you've got a quilted, grippy material on top, stretch panels, it's like a, what do you call that? It's like a suede side piece, a bit of stretch in it, and then sort of fake carbon fiber plastic with a bit of blue stitching and the custom logo on it. Looks incredible. So I've got my trusty staple gun. Let's get it fitted. What I've actually done is I've bought from eBay a spare seat cover. So I've got a standard seat as well. So I've got this, I think it was 40 quid from eBay, second hand obviously. And I'm gonna fit the cover directly over the top of the standard cover. Or maybe I should take the standard off. I think I'll take it off. Hmm, easy said and done. God, they're in there. Make sure you don't lose those. You don't want those going in your tires. Seat cover off, foam exposed, so I think you've just got to really tuck this over the top now. So I think we'll go on with the front of it first. All right, it's going in there, beautiful. Make sure it's central. Basically go around and put it tight, make sure you've got it nice and tight. Pull any bagginess out of, out of it. Oh yes, looking sweet. Luigi Moto also offer different foam, so you can get a more forgiving foam, you know, made to their own recipe. But I just decided to use the standard foam, not go for anything custom. Beautiful. I think it's time to fit this, push the bike outside, and just get some decent finishing video. Oh, yes, sir. This is power level one, which is full power. Oh, oh. Yeah.